Hi everyone, greeting and welcome all. I am Sasi Reka, Junior Training Officer from Government ITA, Perumbakam, Chennai. Today we are going to discuss about outside micrometer and depth micrometer. So the main objectives of today's class is hold the outside micrometer for measurement, set the outside micrometer for measurement, read the measurement, then parts of depth micrometer and measurement of depth micrometer. Let us get into the topic. The picture shown in the screen is outside micrometer. An outside micrometer can measure the length and thickness of whatever object fits between its anvil and spindle. Now we see how to handle outside micrometer. As a first step, holding micrometer in one hand. Hold the outside micrometer in your right hand keeping the graduations on the main scale towards you. Support the frame on the lower center of your palm. Use your third finger to hold the frame in the palm. Place the middle finger behind the frame to support it. Keep the first finger and thumb free to adjust the knurled thimble. Holding micrometer by both the hands. Sometimes it may be more convenient to hold the micrometer with both the hands. Support the frame between the fingers and the thumb of your left hand. Use the thumb and finger of your right hand to adjust the thimble. As a second step, clamp object between anvil and spindle. Rotate the thimble using the ratchet speeder until the spindle is close to the object. Carefully turn the ratchet as you approach the surface to be measured and continue until the spindle stops rotating. The ratchet will keep turning applying the correct amount of force. Using the micrometer thimble alone requires a degree of skill and practice to achieve the correct feel. Step 3. Read the measurement. Move the work slightly between the spindle and the anvil. Make slight adjustments of the thimble until you feel right. When satisfied with the feel, remove the fingers from the thimble. Turn the micrometer towards you. Now read the measurement. So these are the proper steps to measure the reading in the micrometer. So far we have seen what is mean by outside micrometer and how to measure the reading in outside micrometer. Now moving on to the next topic it's depth micrometer. A depth micrometer is used to measure the depth of holes, slots, counter bores and distance from a surface to some recessed part. This type of micrometer is read exactly opposite to the method used to read an outside micrometer. A set of extension rods are generally supplied with this type of micrometer. So what are the main parts of depth micrometer? They are stock, lock, graduated sleeve, thimble and cap. Now see how to handle depth micrometer. Step 1. Insert spindle. Ensure that depth micrometer is first zeroed by inserting 0 to 25 mm rod and referring to this section on zeroing your micrometer. Roughly estimate the distance to measure using a rule or tape measure. Use this estimate to select the appropriate extension tube and insert into the bottom of the micrometer. Step 2. Position. 
place the measuring rod into the hole being measured as close to the edge but not touching as possible. Step 3. Turn thimble clockwise. Holding the base of the micrometer, turn the thimble slowly and in a clockwise direction until the tip of the rod is close to the bottom of the hole. Carefully turn the ratchet as you approach the surface to be measured and continue turning until the spindle stops rotating. The ratchet will keep turning applying the correct amount of force for an accurate measurement. Step 4. Lock spindle. Lock the micrometer spindle using the locking device and carefully remove the instrument from the workpiece. Step 5. Read measured value. Read the measured value and add this to the length of the extension rod used. So far we have discussed about the outside micrometer, how to measure the reading in outside micrometer, then depth micrometer and how to measure the reading in depth micrometer. Hope you all understand about the topic outside micrometer and depth micrometer. See you all in the next video. Thank you.